one in our YouTube channel Alexis project. Uh, today we will see a new hardware set of title name is three phase of power monitoring system. So you can see hardware setup is as I will all on your screen. Okay, so you can see. Uh, so now let's see each and every components one by one. Okay. Uh, so now let's see each and every components one by one. Okay. So you can see uh, there are uh, three sensors. You can see here. Uh, uh, you can see tra current transformer. You can see to sense the current of the system. So you can see here uh, R Y B uh, three current sensor available to measure R Y B currents. Okay. And then you can see here is a voltage sensor available to measure all three phases. Okay. Uh, you can say ZMPD is current sensor okay and here you can see the one large LCD is used here to see all the data okay and uh, here you can see Arduino Nano is used as a brain of the system okay it is also removable you can see here is the uh, connection board you can see uh, next is an ODMC board here okay as our project is IoT enabled so to send the data to server we need to use this Wi-Fi module okay here you can see uh, loads of all three phases phases r y b okay you can see here you can see uh, if suppose uh, we, we are measuring the three phase power okay on a transformer so we can also measure the oil level of the transformer so you can see here is a one ultrasonic sensor connected here to measure the oil level of the transformer also one temperature sensor available here to measure the temperature of the transformer body okay it is also a waterproof sensor and here you can see all three phases so we are using single phase here but a uh, person can, can use uh, separate phases for uh, each phases okay and here's the supply for the system you can see this is the usb wire is going to this arduino okay so let's see uh, performance of the system so uh, let's uh, uh, it currently you can see uh, all the currents are nearly zero okay 0 0.3 means it is near to zero okay because uh, load is off now you can see load is off okay because supply is off also you can see voltage is very less okay so let's turn on apply all three phases supply so you can see i will turn on all the lamps all three phases okay so all three phases are on okay and after some time we will see the voltage and current readings for the system and load so you can see all three phases loads are on okay you can see all the switches are on to provide power to all three phases Okay. and uh, we will also see the all the data live live to the server you can see new readings are here on the screen you can see uh, current is of uh, 0.15 ampere because it's only uh, around 20 watts of lamp that's why current is not much more okay you can see 0.15 ampere 0.15 ampere all the loads are the same because we are losing the same load okay same lamp for the load purpose and you can see our system voltage is 230 volt 230 volt 230, all the voltages are exactly same you can see why because we are using uh, all the phases as single phase okay and you can see all level is 100 percent okay and uh, transformer temperature you can see system temperature 33 degrees okay and you can see is a transformer ratio and here is some other readings i will just show you okay so let's check uh, this is the current for r phase you can see here okay 0 0.15 okay and you can see graph here also you can see this is the r current current for r phase you can see and voltage for r phase and current for r phase you can see 0 0.15 and also we will check current for y phase you can see 0 0.15 for current and voltage is 221 okay so let's confirm this so you can see uh, voltage for y phase is 0 0.15 okay and you can see the graph here and uh, also you can see the current for b phase okay here okay and also you can see the graph here okay and the voltage for r is 223 you can see here r is 223 y is 222 you can see y is 222 exactly same as per the system requirement and you can see uh, voltage for b is uh, 24 you can see little bit minor difference which is considerable okay you can see and also you can see transformer ratio this tr means for transformer ratio okay and here is the no load losses okay where this is w means no load losses so let's uh, turn off the load again to see if it is performing or not okay uh, <coughs> you can see all the data here okay also there are two readings all over is 100 percent you can see 100 percent 100 percent because you can see the tank level is nearly filled to 100 percent okay and also you can see uh, no load loss is 34 percent no load load means uh, you can say uh transformer no loss w okay means w 36 uh, 34 and you can see here 36 okay like little little bit uh, of a uh, differentiation but it is nearly same okay you can see uh here's the parameters okay so i told you so you can see this is a it stands for ac resistance okay of the load you can see 0 0.1 ohm only because this load is not ha have a lot of resistance because uh, it is a lamp okay and you can see here's the uh, losses because of the 
or load is very less negligible because load is in small size okay so it is 0 0.01 or you can say 2 but is, uh, it is very small amount that's why we cannot see it on LCD okay so let's uh, first uh, we will test uh, the temperature sensor here okay uh, currently temperature reading is 33 degrees C so now consider uh, uh, transformer is getting heat okay or you can say system is getting hot so we will take the reading of the consider because of this okay just on the proper angle so you can see i am providing heat to the sensor so that the reading should increase so you can see currently system temperature is 33 degrees c okay after uh, so 20 seconds we will see new readings here also we will disturb a little bit to the this, this tank sensor to check the new readings okay as you can see so we are waiting for new readings you can see currently temperature is 44 degrees c and oil level will change after some time so keep waiting to all level okay so we will see new readings after some time so consider on all level so we will see all level reading will be uh, less than 100 percent okay behave because you can see the new readings are because we have lifted up the sensor to the tank okay lifted up means uh, tank level is reducing okay so you can see new readings are all level 75 percent and temperature 39 percent okay so i am again putting it to the tank you can see the 39 reading is also live on server so let's check okay here is 38 degrees c and oil level is 35 75 degrees c you can see the graph graph difference okay 100 percent to less than okay and you can also see the increase in temperature okay from 33 to 30 uh, 40 or uh, again reduction in temperature again uh, for some time we will see new reading because we have again placed the sensor so you can see again we have get new readings in 100 percent and temperature is reducing to again room temperature you can see new readings are here you can see from 30 uh, you can say 75 to 100 percent you can see okay 100 and 75 okay again it is reduced to 100 percent because i have lift i have placed the sensor again to the same position and again you can see temperature is reducing because we are not applying heat to, the, to it again again you can see it is slightly coming to the same reading as is as per the room temperature you can see okay 35 degrees here. Okay, it means our oil level sensor and temperature sensor is working so fine. Okay, now we will turn off the load and we will see again. Okay, uh, this voltage levels and this current level. Okay, so we are going to turn off the loads. Okay, so we have turned off all these three loads. Load off means uh, we, we should uh, get a less number of uh, current reading and voltage reading. Okay, voltage should uh, show here less than 10 volt. Okay, because there is no supply in the line. Okay. So you can see new readings is appeared. We can see current is very less around 0.03. Okay, after some time it will also set to so 0.03, and you can see voltage is very less. Okay, it is negligible. Okay, this is a uh, minor uh, voltage. Okay, it is not uh, considerable. Okay. So after some time you can see all also uh, on server you can see the readings. Okay. Uh, 0.03 reading. Okay. Uh, because there is no load. Okay, you can see 0.02 reading. Okay, because also you can see 0 0.03 reading because there is no load okay so you can also see voltage is also very less okay it is a minor uh, reading okay comes when there is no voltage okay in the or in our voltage sensor so don't consider it it is considered as it as a zero okay you can also see on graph okay from 230 volt it is dropped to zero 230 volt to it is dropped to zero okay and also you can see this is the rps from 230 volt it is dropped to zero okay okay and uh, voltage and all level is same because it is on room temperature and tank level is also same position okay and low load is zero resistance transformer is uh, okay also disturbed because it is taking the uh, primary voltage okay so again we will turn on the load and we will see what reading it shows okay so we are going to reduce it okay, again with this one okay and after some time we will see new readings here okay you can see 0 0.06 it is very less amount of okay? and you can see so we are waiting for new readings after some time you will see live here you can keep concentrated you can see new readings here appeared okay new readings are here you can also see in the graph you can see minor changes okay because it is very minor less changes you can see 0 0.12 to 0 0.15 okay Okay, minor changes okay 0 0.15 and voltage you can again see okay from here graph 22 to 0 from 0 to and from 0 to 
it is uh, lifted again to 220 volt again uh, y face from 3 volt to again pushed up to 221 volts okay again for the b face here you can see in graph okay from 0 to it is lifted up to 230 volt okay and same for no load loss because uh, it is also changes because of the uh, supply and current okay here the transformer ratio a constant okay depending upon the supply voltage primary and secondary supply voltage okay you can see okay so it means our project is working so fine thank you so much for watching the video you can see the entire setup okay Thank you so much for watching this video. If you anyone want to purchase this model, please contact us on the given number on the video description or you can see uh, available on the video screen. Okay. Thank you so much.